Good day. Uh, it's Sandy. <laughs> if you didn't guess. <laughs> um, I have a few things to talk to you about. Not a lot, just a few. Number one, don't talk about my hair. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this mop. I really don't. I won't go anywhere near the salons right now because I'm sure to get an appointment, it's going to be like three months. <laughs> I swear, because everybody is flooding them. So it's like, yeah, okay, I can just deal with this for a little while longer. <laughs> it's funny, you know, I look at my earlier videos and my hair was like up here. It's It's crazy. You know, like it just grew so much. So, but uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to grow it because I think this is about the length that I'm going to be able to deal with. I can barely deal with this. <laughs> it's always up. I'm just losing hair like crazy. And I'm just like, yeah, no. So George says, just let it grow. I'm like, yeah, you don't have to, to wear it, you know? So anyway, um... Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, well, not this room, but the proverbial room. The virtual room? Virtual room. Yeah. Christmas in July fairies. Okay, there's been an update and all that kind of stuff. So, um, originally, uh, Dana was saying that, okay, for some of you that, I mean, I'm sure all of you have heard about this. And if you haven't, go check out my last video. Um, Christmas in July, Dana from Wonderlust Crochet is hosting this. Uh, what she's done is she's gotten all her little YouTube yarn fairies, which is us, the creators. Uh, she's asked a bunch of us to become the Christmas in July fairies. So what we're doing is we're gathering, um, names from our post, our, our last video. I'll post it up here. Go to that video if you haven't already and make a comment in the comments below. You have to be subscribed. You have to be, <clears throat> excuse me, subscribed 18 or over. It's worldwide. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just do any comment on mine. Um, and then on July 15th, I am going to pick a winner from that video. And that is going to be a semi-finalist. Okay. I send that name to Dana at Wonderless Crochet. And she does the grand prize. So, um, well, the, the picking of the grand prize winner. So, <clears throat> um, what else? <laughs> the, the grand prize is pretty freaking big. I'm telling you. We didn't expect, I don't think we expected to have so many, well, maybe we did. I don't know. But we found out that a lot of yarn, a lot of YouTube creator, content creators wanted to get in on this. So what I've done is I've put a playlist on my channel. So underneath this video, if you scroll over to the left or right, I can't remember. <laughs> Uh, where it says videos, playlist, community, click on my playlist. Underneath there, it's hashtag Christmas in July fairies. Those are a bunch of the videos that are out there right now. So what has changed is originally Dana said that um, if, if a name comes in more than once because they've gone around to all the channels, they're only going to count as one. She's changed that. What? Holy cow. You guys have multiple chances to win this grand prize. If you go click on, actually, if you go up to the search bar of YouTube and you put hashtag Christmas in July fairies, okay, then you will get a list of all the creators that are doing videos. But I have a list down below. I don't have them all uh, because they're coming in so fast. It's crazy. I can't keep up. So what's going to happen is you're going to go around and you're going to watch their video fully from start to finish. You're going to subscribe to their channel. 
and then <clears throat> you're going to comment down below on their on their chat um on their video okay so it gives you multiple chances to win this grand prize what is this grand prize it is one winner will be picked by dana on july 25th and that person is going to get what they're what we're all calling is a pound of love and as granny d said not a pounding you know like we're not going to hurt you or anything <laughs> but we are going to pounce on you and we are going to all all the creators content creators that are involved in this is going to send you a gift wow <laughs> wow like that is just crazy so um you guys have got to get involved okay as for the content creators if i mean most of us already know this but <clears throat> you have a choice you can either be a fairy or you can be a contestant you can't be both so if you leave a comment down below on my video and you're a uh, fairy then you're not going to be put in the contest right so <clears throat> and vice versa so anyways uh, so yeah, go to my playlist and go up to the search bar, um, on YouTube and put hashtag Christmas in July fairies and go and check out all the videos and, <clears throat> and make sure that you subscribe to them because if you're not subscribed, you won't be, uh, and you put a comment in, you won't be eligible. Okay. So, uh, enough of that. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, moving on. Oh, I have, okay. Do you guys have like a ton of whips? I have a ton of whips and I'm just, I get bored so easily, you know, and it's like, I'll start doing something and I'll do it for a while. The problem is, is I pick big projects, right? And like sweaters and scarves and all this kind of stuff. Um, so... I don't really like doing the little tiny quick projects, right? And like, I don't know what it is, but anyway. So I've got like three, three sweaters going, one shawl. <clears throat> and, and then I, I actually completed a couple things. Wow. <laughs> that was, that I, I can't believe I actually completed something. And then something I thought I was going to do, I ended up changing it to something completely different. So, uh, anyway, <clears throat> so let me show you. This was supposed to be a sweater. I got bored of it. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, no. So, this is supposed to be a sweater. So, what I did was I tied up the ends, or I uh, sewed up the ends, and I'm starting to make a sleeve on them. So it's, uh, you know, a, what's it called? A bolo, whatever, you know. So I'm going to put a collar on it. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of one of those bat wing things. <laughs> what do you call them? A shrug. That's it. So I decided now I'm just going to make it a shrug and be done with it because I just got really bored. <clears throat> and this was made out of the Bernat Premium Tweeds. And you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what it is about this Bernat Premium Tweeds that I'm just so stuck on. I just keep using it over and over again. I really like it. So uh, this one is the Chocolate Tweed. And I don't know what this one is, a vanilla tweed or some, I don't know. <laughs> so, so that's that one. <clears throat> Oops. And whoop, there we go. Oh, I'm sweating. This ha my hair being down makes me sweat so much. That's why I have it up all the time. Uh, okay, this one is Bernat Premium. I got my hook stuck. This one I've been working on for a while and I'm just so sick of it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it, darn it. It's a sweater. It's a big sweater. <sighs> I'm 
Remember that? <laughs> this was the one that I started that I can't remember what cut what brand this was. I don't know if it was Bernat or if it was um premier or if it was I don't know because I ran out of the yarn and I can't remember what it was so I ended up doing the rest of it gray so so I'm not finished this I still have to do the collar and I was starting to do the sleeves but the sleeves seem to be getting wider and wider and I'm just going oh really because I ended up sewing it up the side and didn't sew it quite big enough <clears throat> what is with my throat it must be allergies because <clears throat> i'm really froggy <sighs> so anyway this is a fair size sweater but it's a short sweater right it's more of like a, a waist up to your waist kind of sweater but it's big so i thought well this has got to be like a 4x or something so i thought well maybe the the big armholes would be good because some someone that's 4x or 5x you don't know what size their arms are right so I thought well I'll just leave it but the problem is is that I'm doing it in this freaking bobble stitch the whole thing is bobble stitch so when you're doing the bobble stitch it just seems to go like this I mm, drives me crazy so maybe it's I don't know no it does because look look it's like this side goes out <clears throat> excuse me so it's got to be my join it's because I'm trying to join it so that um that line doesn't go right I wonder if I just did it in a round oh that might be hmm what what <gasps> I can't play with you right now I'm talking to the people I'm talking to the Arnabies. What do you want? I don't have your bowl. Holy cow. Bailey got a haircut, by the way, guys. Finally. She got a haircut, but I didn't get a haircut. Come here. Okay. Up. Sure. Up. Up. Look at she got a haircut. Oh yes, you did. Oh yes, you did. Okay, okay. Are you gonna say hi to the people? Look at let's see. Hi Arnabies! Say hi Arnabies! <laughs> So now she feels good. She's nice and cool, but I'm just like, oh. Oh. so anyway, yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it in the round. I'll have to frog the sleeve and try it again. But uh, yeah, so this is a big and heavy one and it's taking a lot of yarn, which I did not expect, right? Because I was thinking, well, I'll just make it a small one. Well, it ended up, I guess I chained too many and it just ended up being a big sweater <laughs> so but that's okay because i'll get that darn thing done at some point and then yesterday i was looking for another project to start because I'm, I'm still doing the um fiber spider granny ripple shawl i haven't really done much on it so i'm not going to show it um but i got bored yesterday i put the sweaters down i was like what can I, what else can i make So what does Sandy do? She starts making another card again. <laughs> I, just, I can't get away from these stupid cardigans. So I'm starting to make another card again. <laughs> oh man. I really liked the sweater. A lot of people actually really liked the sweater that I made Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. Okay, I'll leave her thing right here I never know which side it's on I think it's this side um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it in I made hers in black tweed and white tweed queen cream tweed whatever um and see hair's falling out um so I'm deciding I'm gonna make it this one in all black and uh yeah so but you can see all the tweedy bits so, yeah, so I started doing that last night. <sighs> can I not do something else? Like, can't, can, maybe I should start making the bag a day um, cowls again. I don't know. I just don't know. 
George wants me to start making hats again because we got to get our stock up for the winter. But you know what? I honestly don't think that we're going to be doing craft fairs much. Although I did see a video uh, for somebody I just newly subscribed to that you probably all know. I can't remember what her name is now. But she said that their markets are opening up again. Well, I got an email from one of our markets or from one of our craft fairs for the winter time, and they said that they're X daying it because they can't figure out how to do the social distancing. So I have a feeling that craft fairs are not going to happen this winter. So I'm not too broken up about it. I mean, I'm broken up about not doing craft fairs, but I'm not broken up about not making hats and stuff because, you know. Uh, what's the point if we're not going to have a craft fair? Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, okay, can we talk about this? I did one. Yes, I did. I did a pocket shawl. Yes, I bought the pattern and I did it. Can I just say, I like the shawl. I hated putting on the pockets. I don't sew. I don't. I tried to figure out how to crochet them on. I was like, oh, the reason is because, oh, come on, <laughs> it's so big and airy. Like it's so airy. There's nothing to crochet them onto or nothing to sew them onto. Right. It's like, it's all holy. So trying to figure out where to do the stitching it was a pain in the neck it really was I, I didn't like that at all so um, the stitch that she did on here it's like a T stitch it's it took me a bit to try and get used to doing it um, and I think there's like one or two in here that I forgot to put the full stitch together. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah, right there. <laughs> um, I like, I, I like the way it turned out. I did not use the recommended um, uh, crochet hook that she did. I went down a crochet hook because I didn't want it as big and holy. Uh, and it's still big and holy. So, um, and also the pockets, my pockets are smaller because I didn't use, I think I used a five or six millimeter. So my pockets aren't the big pockets. Mine are just a regular size pocket, but yeah, I, I hated doing the, the pocket part, but that's just me. But I, I, I like the way it turned out. It's really pretty. I might make another one. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll design my own. Who knows? Um, also, as you probably whoops, saw, and I think I mentioned it in my video, I did the Bag of Day shirt. It's a big, wide one. <laughs> Uh, I forget what number this is. I'll put that down here. And then I made a scrunchie. And uh, I believe in my last video, I put, I believe I put the links down below for both of these. So um, this was fun to make. I enjoyed making this one. Uh, whoops. Scrunchies flying everywhere. Anyways, um, is that all I needed to talk to you guys about? I can't remember. Okay. Uh, also, I'm thinking about doing a, another draw. Sorry, uh, another giveaway. I have a whole bunch of alpaca yarn that I've kind of moved on from. I'm, 
I'm not interested in using it. Uh, I, I get into a different a, a yarn right now. It's the Bernat Tweed, right? I get into doing a yarn, like one kind of yarn, and I'm like, yeah, I really like this yarn, and I use it and use it and use it, and then I after a while I move on to another kind of yarn, uh, like the um, the velvet yarn or whatever it's called. I've got like a crap ton of it over there, which might be in another giveaway. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I've got all this alpaca that um, I would like to gift to someone else. <sighs> okay. Uh, so that might be in a future giveaway. If you guys are interested, let me know. Also, all this yarn here. See all this over here? I would like to do yarn swaps. Okay, um, I would like to do a yarn swap with someone who has a Hobby Lobby by them. Are you kind of seeing where I'm going with this? Maybe? Yes. I would like to do yarn swaps and give, like, this stuff is all wool that I can't use. Okay, this, this is from my, my shop, my store kind of thing. Uh, so what I'd like to do is I would like to do a yarn swap for some yarn B yarn. Okay. Um, I don't exactly know how to do it. If we're going to do it by price, uh, if we're going to do it by just whatever, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I want it to be fair. Okay. Um, so like per ball per price, per whatever, right? Like, I don't know. But I would like to get yarn B yarn in that I'm going to be able to use. Okay. Uh, a lot of people comment on all the yarn that's behind me. So I thought that this might be a good idea. So I'm. this is all ice yarn. Well, not all of it. It's either ice yarn or hobium yarn or hobie yarn. Right, so this up here is all cotton yarn. This is all wool. This is Angora. Yes, Angora. <laughs> um, I have a whole bunch over here on this side. So yeah, so I thought, you know what? I want, I want to just, I want to give this to someone that's going to be able to use it. And in return, get something that I love, which is yarn be yarn, because I can't get it here. As you all probably know, right? So yeah, so let me know if you are interested in doing that. Okay, so I think that's all I had to talk to you about. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I hope you stick around because I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, okay, uh, and I guess we'll talk to you guys later. <makes noise> Good luck on the draw, on the, on the Christmas in July fairies draw. Don't forget to go around everybody's channel. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.